Hey everybody, welcome back. It's, it's certainly been uh, an interesting weekly so far. We can't, and maybe this is like, um, be careful what you wish for. I, I like it if you add some more attack. I'm rolling. I, I think I like the cone snail more than I should, and I'm not afraid to say it. I also don't really like the magpie, but I do think 1-4 for stats is better than 2-2. Two, two. I mean, like, mathematically it sums to a higher value, but I think the higher HP is also better. Be a booming believer. But what I was going to say is, I, no matter what we do this week, we can't seem to have a, a horrible, pardon me, a horrible run. It's obviously a horrendous start. <laughs> but, you know, it's otters versus non-otters. Oh, never mind. Buy me. You didn't hit a mosquito, so buy me, stack me. I'm going to run anti-moth, and then I'm going to run something like this. I'm going to freeze you. I'm going to take a moth for now. It just makes more sense to, to actually worry about the buffs you get from the otter, because the otter gets twice as good after leveling up. I think it makes sense. Okay. I, I'm honestly not even sweating the fact that we're 1 HP down, because we get a refund here. But, um, so we're 1 HP down, but I, I feel like we have an amazing potential setup. Start here. I don't like the meerkat. Go here. I think we could talk about a blowfish doing something. And we'll put you second. I haven't really seen big blowfish go off this week, but I also haven't really seen big blowfish at all. So I, I feel like if we could get a pineapple, I know there's pineapples this week. Well, I feel like I'm not sweating it at all because we're playing against frilled dragons. So that one's just no disrespect, but that's not going anywhere. <laughs> it's just not the right week for that. Um, Let's take our stats. That's beautiful. I will add to the moth, just because it's the path of least resistance. I mean, th these have been pretty blessed shops so far. we got a, a team with some very meaty units, despite the relative earliness of where we're at so far. Never mind. They're, you're better than me. You're, you're bigger than me. You're higher on the food chain. Get in my... But never mind, we drew. Everything's okay. Okay, start looking for pineapple don't see it start unwinding you're not good enough moths are gonna start to not be a problem but for now we probably want to do this add a toad because toad is just incredible take your level rooster i know what you're thinking and i'm kind of thinking it too rooster is not even close to good enough right <laughs> give me this um i don't think we want our mosquito to level we don't even need it for, for Dragonfly tech. Because the we already have a level 3 otter we could just use instead. Well, I'm glad I didn't dump my moth yet. Finally, the Blowfish gets a chance to do something. I feel like a genius. We really should have more than two wins. That's the, the sad part for me right now. Go here. I'm going to... I should have kept my moth. I didn't, but I should have. I was, I was going to freeze it and save it for a level next time, but I, I just started clicking too fast. So I think long term, if the squad's going to do anything, then the way that it's going to do that thing... It's a scary team. Is um, creating a huge, like a 50-50 blowfish. The problem, I guess... Eh, it's unfortunate. It's not what I'm looking for. Shh, this is kind of what I'm looking for. I think we need to, we need more HP on our blowfish. So it, as much as I hate to get rid of the moth, um, and probably getting rid of the otter makes more sense. But we can get rid of the otter next turn. Just we don't want the orangutan to steal to, to give the otter a buff that belongs to another unit, I suppose. Um, by the time we get to a 50-50 Blowfish, a lot of other teams will have 50-50 units as well, and the Blowfish damage will probably be, like, not very considerable compared to what it is right now, but... Okay, now, a Dragonfly goes crazy, but you gotta do some serious unwinding. You gotta put hope in your Blowfish in position one, and then your Dragonfly can go there. We'd really love to see a, a level two... No, we wouldn't. No, we're very happy where we stand. You take garlic. Who's getting the buff? The dragonfly's getting the buff. But 
the blowfish is also getting a buff every turn. Which, and now that I think about it, the blowfish getting a buff from the dragonfly every turn probably, let's go, <laughs> probably means that we don't need the orangutan. I'm sorry, I'm twisting myself in the, in the knots here. But the orangutan will never buff the blowfish because the blowfish is going to outscale. But maybe that's fine. Maybe that's okay. Chocolate probably matters the most. We're probably a little, we're living in a post salad world. Monkey, it definitely beats the pants off of the orangutan here. And let's keep Toad there for now. Chocolate, thank you so much. You shouldn't have. I thought, like, the Toad is really valuable, but I really don't want him to steal a buff from the Blowfish. So I'm actually thinking maybe you go, like, Dragonfly first. I know. It's, uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a changed man. Now, if we could get the, if we could get the blowfish to level three, then we could sell our otter and we could run a level two toad with more confidence. I'm about to get crapped on. Holy cow. <laughs> oh my God, what a strong team. All right, we got plenty of time here to, to make this happen. Don't get too sauced up yet. Definitely buy, roll, roll, roll. I'm going to roll on this one. Another monkey. You're given 3-3 three, three a turn. I would, I would happily stack you on top. And if we, if we lose a round as a result of that, we lose a round. But we got, we got one good unit. And the toad. Okay, they're running Blowfish Lemon. That's, that's a different strat. That's not the strat I'm running. Do not compare us. Now, that strat, I honestly, also crossed uh, my mind as something that might be better than Blowfish Pineapple, but I don't think I've had access to lemons yet, so this is, this is all new to me. Chocolate? I really don't want to sell my eye. Listen, I'll, I'll pizza it up here, just because I'm sick of rolling. Shops have not been super kind, but that's all is forgiven now. It's, if we're going to make it to 10... <laughs> It's very likely we'll need something like Death Touch to round out our units that are not super statted. We just didn't go fast enough to really get far ahead. Now this, oh, I was hoping it would screw up your freaking melon armor. That's okay, that's okay. It's okay, all is forgiven still. You got some Death Touch of your own. We're still making it here. That's seven wins, three life left. I think if our Dragonfly doesn't level here, then we have to consider running the, the walrus instead and hopefully pilling it. One more roll. You didn't get there. You know what? I'm, I'm taking my level two. I'm freezing you. And I'm hoping the blowfish gets the buff. But it, it, listen, it's a one... Oh, the monkey's level two now too. That's true. The, it, the one one buff from the dragonfly is, is secondary now. It doesn't matter that much. This is, you might think that I'm mad because I'm going to get my butt kicked here, but I'm actually thrilled because we see that a puppy can work. I've previously, every time I've gotten a puppy early this week, I've said I it can't work. So now that I know that it's, it's in the realm of viability, well, I'm feeling a lot better, aren't I? So pill you. I think that means we run you at the front again. I know it's, it's a little bit crazy. But it, it, it is what it is. Another. <laughs> well, well, well. I would pop you right here then. Although, I don't know. A Who needs the extra damage from the pineapple when instead you might get the extra damage from the, the death touch? So I don't expect a toad to two for one. I expect it to one for one. But it's a necessary step en route to two for one. I hope. Beautiful. And so, listen, go ahead, brother. You want to hit me some more? Go ahead and hit me some more. Ooh, I lived. <laughs> I wasn't sure about that one. Until the last possible moment. Okay, you get pilled. I don't really care who you hit. Everybody's good here. That's, that's not what I would have wanted if I could have chosen for myself, but it is what it is. You could probably cow this one. Do have a cow, man. And, uh... Again, I think now it's not about the blowfish. Now it's about your death touch units trading more than two for one. I don't know. It just, it probably makes no mathematical sense, but it feels better to have a death touch unit at the back. It's just like, because it'll feel like it turns a, a loss into a draw. 
No, 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 it's okay, because we have our death touch unit. <laughs> That's got to be like the most frustrating way to lose. Thank you, thank you. Roll me. You don't have to be like a genius to see that we've plateaued pretty heavily on this one. And we need to get three wins against increasingly frustrating um, opponents. Especially considering Melon Armor, Reindeer, Doberman, like there's... There's certainly a world here where we don't get the 10. It might not e that might be the base case is that we don't get the 10. Every win that we get takes us just a little bit closer. You have 42 HP. You're about we I'm not going to give this to you. I'm actually going to give this to the monkey cuz he's the next unit to go to the front, which seems like madness in and of itself. And that, but that means we could put you at the front, and then you could move further back. We could override equipment again, and we wouldn't feel like such a freaking idiot. <laughs> okay, freeze both of these. I would definitely run Zebra instead of this crappy dragonfly next time. I don't know. Maybe another walrus does make. Maybe it does make sense, man. I don't know. I'm trying to. I'm trying to run all the counters to the builds that are popular right now. What builds are popular right now? Certainly. Lots of, like, melon armor. Yeah, that's that's a big one. They got coconut armor. They got everything. <laughs> okay, it's a strong team. Coconut armor is tough to deal with. I do want to try running a, a Doberman build myself. You got to go here now. I've, I've realized the folly of my ways. Actually, no, you got to go here. You got to go. You can go there, I guess. Buff me. Buff me. Sell me. Buy me. I'm not gonna complain, and I'll just so I'll just toss you down here just to be an extra unit potentially. Man, if our monkey two for ones, it would be a dream come true. That ain't happening. Oh, it's one for one. That's wait, we're we're okay, we're okay, we're screwed. <laughs> Still, eight wins. That's pretty good. Kind of lost it a little bit there. Dude, what the heck? This is the dream squad? I would still run anti-moth in front just because I'm a... I mean, I don't know. Maybe because I'm an idiot. Uh, let me be a... I'll be a... a I'll be a, 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 a... Like a barbaric wig. You know what would be a funny wig for me? What about a wig that made it look like I had the hairstyle of um, a Benedictine monk? You know, with just the... The bald patch here, and then the mushroom cut around. Imagine getting a wig to still be bald, you know? Man, this is like not how I want to live my life. But it, it does make sense to do it this way. I'm sorry to do it, man, but like, it, it, it just makes sense. It's like, the it's the most sensible. I, I know it doesn't make sense, but it just makes sense. Like, these are three very strong units that can carry us for a few rounds. We, we just didn't get anything else in the shop that really uh, tickled our fancy in the slightest. This is, this is the most disappointing draw of my entire life. <laughs> Come on, man. Really? I thought we were set. I didn't think anything could... St and now we got to combine our units to get a level up. And we gave a freaking meerkat after everything we've been through? Here, take some meat. If we're going three squatted, I'm I'm not going in with an empty stomach. Let's put it that way. My my flamingo. Holy cow, where did you get the snipers? Like you got a license for those guns? Okay, this is it's it's going off the rails. In my defense, if there is defensibility to be had here, these are the worst shops I've ever seen. <laughs> I don't really want to add another unit to the team, if I'm being honest with you. I think that they, they, if you wanted me to add another unit to the team, you should consider providing me with some units that are not complete garbage. And then I would be happy to add another unit to the team. But until then, I would rather bottom out and get a chance at Connor Bedard in the draft lottery instead of just like, you know, icing a semi competitive squad just because I think that's what people want from the team, okay? That's not the. You're a level two! <laughs> Another unit would have really hit the spot right there. Alas. Yorick, we hardly knew ye. 
Or is it we knew ye well? I can never, I can never recall. This might be a zero. We, we're on like round five. We don't even have a full squad yet. No, the math worked out so beautifully for me. It was just a team that peaked, uh, it peaks late. It peaks on round six with a level two otter. I think we should try a weasel. Put you at the back. You're going next round. You know that, right? I'm rolling. I'm not going pineapple on the mosquito. I think the meat might be more valuable. You're going to be a level three. All is not completely lost yet. There's still a chance just due to the level distribution of the squad. I'm being sincere with you. There's still a chance we could... Oh, you piece of junk. <laughs> you genius, thank you. A dragonfly that levels fast could get us out of this. I don't know if we're going to get there, but... So you're giving us extra gold if you faint. I hate to say it. We're like, we're going summon team. And I don't fully understand how I'm going to make that happen. But I'll, I'm going to start with a beluga, even though we don't have anything in reserve. Like, I'm just, I'm thinking to myself, and I know, I know <laughs> that there's no, there's not enough summon helpers here. There's the German Shepherd, which gives him some HP, but like, a apart from that, there's, there's very little. But I'm choosing not to think about that, and instead just, Plowing headlong into futility here. That'd be nice. I, I could always feed you a blueberry. I don't, I don't really want you to eat an armadillo. I don't really want you to eat a moth either. I don't want you to eat any of that. don't care if you eat a toad. Can't run toad every time. There's a temptation to run rooster, but I, I think it has to be better. I don't know what it has to be, but I think it has to be better. You know what I'm thinking? What, what if you got, um, what if you ate a Doberman with a Beluga so that when it got spat out, it spat out automatically as the lowest tier pet on the team, as long as it was at the back. You know what I'm saying when I say this, this madness to you? Okay, German Shepherd, I, I, I don't think is what we're looking for. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know it seems crazy, but... It just it, it just doesn't make sense to me. I'm I think I'm looking for a Doberman. And we don't have anything in our beluga yet. I still don't think uh, there's no reason I'm not feeding you just to feed you. I'm sorry. A Doberman! <laughs> Minnesota! Okay, okay. Sell me. I'm gonna be honest, I think we have to get this off the ground. Sell me. Roll once. Okay, here's the new hotness for a three squad. Level two Doberman gets spat out. It will by default be the lowest um, tier unit on the squad and thus will get 10-10 plus coconut armor or 5-5 five, five coconut armor twice. Maybe? We don't need you to have this anymore. It's a little bit atypical. Let's see. Let's let's see how it works. <laughs> Holy cow, Rooster is like a horrendous get. I'm the lowest tier unit on the I'm the lowest tier unit on the squad. How could you do me like that? We only have two life. I don't think we can afford to do silver fox. Well, then you then we're dead because I'm just rolling. <laughs> okay. Um. I think you go, I should have bought a lemon too. Oh, but then I ate, like I'm eating all this stuff on you that there's no reason to be eating. It's, this is a disaster. Turtle, like it could be worse. I guess for now, <laughs> this is so bad. This is so horrendously, like just is not good. Uh, okay, two more weasels and then like a genuine monkey, but what the hell is the what the hell is the the Doberman doing? I I thought it should work and I don't know, maybe 
Maybe you don't have as generous of a reading as I did on it, but I, I really... Oh, that's a strong boy. That's a very strong turtle. Well done. For the life of me, I thought that that Doberman would get spat out and by default would be the lowest tier unit on the squad. That seems to me to be the way it should work. Oh, it's only... Never mind. It's only a start of battle. I'm actually just wrong and, and stupid. Insubordinate and churlish. Okay, if... <laughs> So now, like, your banana doesn't make any sense. But I sell the cow and run a cobra. Dude, we're, we're toasted. There, there's no shot we're not toasted. This is the worst I've performed on, on this weekly, for sure. It was in the spirit of fun. Like, there was, there was some fun adjacent stuff going on alongside this one. But, yeah, it's not a, not a solid performance in the whole scheme of things, I would say. All right, I can't leave you on that one. That's that's like a, a, a weekly killer. If you don't do another weekly or another run after you do that one, that's the last one you do all week. So, okay, do we, we lost the plot a little bit. Definitely a huge hater of this squad. I would say sell me, roll me. Second mosquito. I actually did groundhog in a pinch. In a pinch, you can run it. And let me be like a golden turtle. That sounds like a real thing, or alternatively, a restaurant. I think we lose round one if I had to guess. My god. Here to win, maybe? There's never been a truer name than that in Super Auto Pets. Something like that. Probably like this, actually. Another moth. This is a spicy situation just because we don't have a guaranteed level. We got a pretty good chance at, uh... Okay, fair trade. We got a pretty good chance at, uh... A level on the level up, but... Or on the, on the shop tier up, but... Oh, never mind. There's nothing to complain about at all. I would definitely run a stork. I think stork is good if we don't ask too much of it. And we definitely asked too much of it last time. Um... Squad might not tickle your fancy all that much, but just remember, it's early. It's it's round three. We don't need to have a 50-50 a hippo yet. We just need to be making, like, relatively good decisions. And if there was a bad decision we made, and it's coming home to roost, <laughs> the bad decision was not taking a peacock of our own. That's, that's an oversight. A peacock early on is really strong. Even with a starfish, you can win if you got a peacock on your team. Holy cow. I think we should do it. No, 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 no. Oh, I, did you see how fast I tried to recover from my idiocy? <laughs> uh, I would really like to not lose this round, but I think we're going to lose this round. If, if there's a way out of it, it probably looks like that, even though it's a, a huge risk, because if they're running mods, then this moth just gets blown out probably, but... Okay, they are running mods. That's unfortunate. Greatest spawn of all time. 2-2 two, two fish. The sad thing is you really couldn't ask for much better than that. Yeah, that was uh, unfortunate. That was an unfortunate turn of events. So where are we going? <laughs> I would say Groundhog has to go. I'm telling you Starfish is not the way. I don't necessarily think Weasel's the way either, but... We're going to give it a chance. I definitely do think um, Toad matters, and the Stork has not done enough for us. So throw a Toad out here. Holy cow. And I think Mosquito's gone soon. We, we've, lost the, we've lost touch. This team does not look like it's in any danger of doing anything important. That override is going gonna, gonna to keep me up at night, man. Okay, we're on two life, and we just lost to a squad like us that had zero wins. But because we're on the new health system, <clears throat> Copium, because we're on the new health system, thank you so much, anything can happen. I kind of, I half expect to have a chance in this round, only because the salad hit right. 
And this is all part of like my master strategy, which I wouldn't expect like everybody to understand. But my master strategy was lose a lot early, so we end up going up against other winless teams, and then we should have an easier route to greatness. But I wouldn't expect everybody to understand this advanced level strat. Let, dude, let's go like a full econ build. Before attack, gain one gold on next turn. I'm going to give you some extra HP from the rabbit, essentially. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We'll give you some garlic in the future. I'm trying to run an econ build here, and I don't know what the money's going to do. I guess we'll buy goods and services with it. Realistically speaking, we may actually just end up um, buying rerolls with it. <laughs> it seems to be the most likely uh, course of action for me. 3-3 three, three dog. I'll, I will happily accept my draw here. It's nice. Um, we have no attack. It's so hard for me to unwind the moth here, man. But you can't get rid of the... Okay, then you got to do that. Then don't, don't get it twisted then. You, that's what you got to do. Next round, chocolate comes out. Level two, weasel for even more money. The real... Okay, I'm glad I kept it. The real question is, like, what am I going to do with the money? <laughs> Lebowski. My squad? Oh, okay, okay. I'm on lethal, but bizarrely, I don't feel that bad about it. Maybe it's because I'm, like, relatively well-adjusted. I recognize it's just a video game. Maybe it's because I don't know what the other reason could be now that I think about it. That's not who I wanted to receive the buffs here. Um, and I don't think it's a reindeer or a lioness team. And if, if you think it is, then I uh, apologize for disagreeing. But this could look better. It, it, I've had squads that look better at this stage of the game. But hey, perhaps most importantly, no squad has ever been better at generating... A lot of money. <laughs> that went nowhere. All right. Well, thanks for watching. We'll be back to try to recapture some mojo. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. It helps out. I'll see you next time. See ya.